Well, hello, Pisces. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Pisces, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading. We're going to see what's going to come out here for you today. This is going to be for Pisces. Oh, Pisces, what in the world? Whoa, we have the five of wands. We have the double. I didn't make this up. This is what came out, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Why are you in a double energy? Why? What is going on? This is anger. This is feeling burden. You want to put a burden down. Something has been very heavy, very heavy on your shoulder. This could be fear, fear of not getting what you want or or. Right now, there could be fighting with someone, confrontation. This could be with a family member. It could be with your job, companies, whoever. But whatever this is, you are in the double energy. Wow. Ooh, let's go ahead. Let's keep going. Let's see what, what's going on with you, Pisces. Oh, Pisces mad as hell. <clears throat> This was trying to come out. I'm not going to take it, but it, it flipped over and I was like, let me see what it was. Some of you are married and I feel like this could be anger towards your spouse. Someone is thinking about you. And maybe you guys had a fight. Whoever you had a fight with is thinking about you. But ooh, that devil energy is pretty fierce. Hmm. So it does look like maybe you're dealing with um, things, you know, emotional issues, things that have happened to you in the past. I see, um, you know, maybe you're still fighting demons, things that may have like, yeah, things that may have occurred. I just see a lot of conflict in this. There is a struggle here with that strength card. I do feel like if you are dealing with someone, they're still attached or in love with their past. And that's the reason why you feel that's for those who, you know, I mean, to me, it, it, honestly, it could be someone that you're married to. It could be someone that you're dating. But I feel like someone from someone that you're dealing with is still attached to their past in some kind of way. And that is part of the fight, right? I see you moving forward here. A lot of, uh, um, yeah, yeah, three of wands. You may be waiting, waiting for someone to make a move, especially if you got into a fight, maybe waiting for the person to say something. I see recognition in your job here, but I see you wanting to move forward. I really do. Mm. You're. It's like you're at a place where you're going to have to make a choice about moving forward. That's happening as well. Hmm. What happened? Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Some of you are married. I just saw the Ten of Cups. Some of you are married. Or in some type of long term, maybe children are involved. Yeah. Some of you are fighting over money, a contract over money, that type of thing. Yeah, this has been happening for a while here with this nine of wands. You've been dealing with nonsense for a while. Some of you, you're, you're holding on to something that either A, you feel that you are bound by, locked into, and you cannot escape it, or, or this is just a lot of just anger because of what you've been putting up with. That's just what this looks like to me. You've been giving, 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 giving. Someone has been resisting you here. And this could be anybody. A family member can resist you being nice and they refuse to let up, still, you know, maintain their stance on something. I just see that there's been a lot of emotional, like there's been no emotion, like emotional starvation. I feel like someone is resisting the connection because they may feel like something isn't practical about you or maybe they feel like they can't build with you. Something like that. And if you're in a in a committed relationship, I feel like maybe, I don't know, I just feel like something is missing um, emotionally. If you're in a committed relationship, someone feels like something's missing. Yeah, okay, here with the, it, whatever it is that you have been wanting though, 
I did see the nine of cups kind of show up a little bit when I was shuffling. I feel like you're going to get it once you get out of whatever position you're in. I don't know if that means that you may have to leave a situation, you know, maybe a separation. So you, you can see how, you know, how it would be without your person. Um, I do see that a lot of you are going to be in the spotlight on camera in some kind of way. That's what I'm seeing on camera here. Someone has been really, really nice and somebody else has been just really mean or just whatever it is. It just seems like you've been doing your best to, to keep peace and it just, it has not really gotten you anywhere. I feel like you feel like, you know, you've been invested in something. You've put all your time and energy into trying to, you know, work on something or maybe fix something with someone and it just didn't go anywhere. But there is something here. Recognition all the way coming up for you. For some of you, you could be a mother. Yeah, this is this is marriage energy here. I see children. <clears throat> Two of Wands, I do feel like someone could be in a relationship and they're not happy here. Someone is in a relationship and they're ha not happy. There's rebound energy here as well. Let's go ahead. Let's get the Five of Wands. This is going to be for Pisces. Thank you. Star card again. Someone is fighting for their dreams, fighting for freedom, fighting for what they want. This is an internal fight as well. Yeah, fighting to be free. Truly, there's a lot of mixed emotion here where someone is feeling like, you know, feeling like <sighs> someone feels foolish. That's where the anger is coming from. Silly, foolish, naive. Mm-hmm. Strength card. It, there it is again. Someone is trying to detach from you, Pisces. You could be doing this to your person, but someone is, is trying to forget about you. Someone is waiting for their, for their past to come back in, or you could be waiting for someone to come in. It could be a family member, okay? I just want to make sure I say that. But someone is waiting to receive maybe a phone call or something like that. Maybe some of you, there's child support involved in this as well. Yeah. I, I see baby here. But I also see there's going to be some type of communication with someone. I, I just feel like you're moving forward. I, that's what I'm saying because... You're not getting what you want out of a relationship. That's what it looks like. I feel like you're like, okay, I love this person, but I can't get what I want. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. You can't really, you know, get deep with your person. Yeah. I do see different people wanting you. I do see that. Someone that you're going to be interested in here. I see you interested in someone. You're not really going to be open, you know, as much to it right now because you need to heal. But I do see that there's other people around that you're going to be interested in. Who's interested in you rather, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> see, this is, see, whatever this is that has happened, that has occurred, has caused you to feel rejected or unwanted in some kind of way. You've been putting up with it for far too long. I can tell. I can tell. And a lot of you, if you're single, you're kind of like, man, like, why does it seem like I'm always running into these devils, these, you know, these toxic people who never want anything serious? Eight of Pentacles. I see you getting a promotion at work, something that you're doing, some type of recognition here. That's what it looks like. Some type of recognition. I do feel like in order for you to move forward, you're just going to focus on your, you're going to stay busy. Stay busy. That's all I'm seeing you do. You know, I see you keeping to yourself, working, focusing on you, focusing on your home. Yeah, here with the Four of Pentacles. I do see that whatever this is, this is hard to leave. You know, for some of you, like I said, this could be a marriage. It could be just the fact that you feel like this is someone that is karmically bond to. You're karmically bond. Someone's watching you, though. 
whoever you're separated from or you're not talking to, I do feel like someone is watching you. That is a fact. Someone is watching you. This is, I want to get some cards here for you, Pisces. Sorry, let me see if anything fell. I'm trying to see if a card fell. Okay. This is going to be some um, finance cards for Pisces. I see your work is going to be really, really good. I see, I see you know, uh, for some of you, you're working really hard, maybe working two jobs. You're going to pay for your bills. You're going to pay for it, okay? I feel like with that Four of Pentacles, this is you, um, you know, really holding on to something that you want, truly. That star card talks about your dreams. And I just feel like there's something standing in the way of it. That That's exactly what this looks like. I see you single. A lot of you are single or business owners here. Maybe your future seems unclear, which is what I'm looking at, okay? Um, that's what it feels like. I feel like there's been a lot of lessons learned here, but at the same time, you're still kind of like, should I move forward? Should I not? Yeah, there's been arguments. There's been fights. There's been disrespect. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. And you're going to try to change your perspective, really. I think that you want a relation. You want to not think, but you need a relationship where it's going to be reciprocal, plain and simple. But I do see someone here that is sneaky and a liar. Okay. Your money, um, I do feel like is a little, is, is going to be okay. Some of you may be having some issues with your finances. I do see that it is going to get better over time. Okay. Um, you know, make sure you don't spend too much money. And again, I feel like some of you may be working two different jobs or doing something like that because I really do see you on camera, but stability is coming, okay? Some type of some type of promotion is what I'm saying, okay? But this is what I have for you here. Uh, Pisces, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you back here again soon. Bye.